Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So friends, today I'm going to explain you that what are the database subjects. As all of us know that, what are the database subjects? Like uh, you can say that uh, tables are there, store procedure are there, functions are there, and uh, their table type are there, and there are multiple things of that. Too. So we can say that there are multiple types of database objects. So in this session, I'm going to cover that. Sometimes uh, we have some requirement that uh, how many database objects are there, like uh, how many tables are there, how many store procedures are there, how many functions are there in our database. So we can count everything on our database level. So I'm going to cover all these things in this uh, session. Okay, so let's uh, move to the uh, SSMS. There we will write a query and we will check that. How can we find out that uh, all the details, I mean, all the counting of the table, like how many objects are there, okay? So let's move to the SSMS and then we will write and we will execute that query and we will check the result. So here I'm going to write some queries, then we'll check the result. So first of all, I want to use here CTE. Okay, so that we can combine the result in one query. I'll select star from CTE. Okay, now I want to select some things. So here what I'm going to use, I'm going to use here sys.objects. You can see that select star says objects okay now i'm going to update this query i don't want to use this select star so i want some limited column so i would like to use that column only and i also want to use here that serial number so for that uh, i'm going to use that row number function it will provide us the serial number column Over or y. So here I'm going to use this O dot type underscore description as okay. SM. Then O dot type underscore description. Then O dot Again, dot dot type. And here I want to use some because I want to count the number of that objects. Okay, so I would like to use here count function as total count. Here, as I have used here count function, so I will have to use here group by group by dot type type and dot type underscore description. Okay. So let's execute this query and see what the result is there. Okay, so here is the result. You can see here that what is in this database. I'm using my default database master. So in that case, you can see here that these are the serial number like there are 12 objects. What type of objects are here there? Check constant. Okay, constant cut type is C and total count is 1. Default constant D type and total count equal to 1 foreign key F and total count equal to 1. Internal table is the at stand for the IT and here total count is 18. And you can see here the primary constant PK and there are total count 2. Service queue is also there. SQL store procedure type equal to P you can see here that and total count equal to T. Then system table S type table table type parameter we can see here that TT1 unique constant uk user table are the u14 the 14 user tables are there view is equal to 1 so 
if you want to get all the details of any database so in that case you can use this query with the help of this query we can find out that how many constants are there how many view are there how many functions are there how many tables are there so everything we can count here okay and uh, one more thing i would like to tell you that suppose uh, you can say that sometimes we have some requirement to get that uh, when it was created so in that case we can use here create date okay so in that case we will use here uh, you can say the o dot create underscore date so we can also use here that o dot create underscore date so it will return you that when it was created but in that case what will be the difference in result it will return you some duplicate value like you can see here that internal table are there but they are create date not only date but create timing is different so in that case it will repeat that multiple times like primary key constant is there but there you can see that there is a little bit difference in the time like created so it is showing here as a duplicate card so if you don't need this create date then it, you can get the unique records so it is depends on your requirement that whether you are having this requirement or not so as per your requirement you can manipulate this query and you can manipulate the result as per your requirement okay so thank you for watching this session so friends if you think this session is very helpful or it is a it is increasing our knowledge and knowledgeable session so in that case please like share and subscribe my channel and thanks for watching this session